today I'm going to show you something that has been so requested. I don't even know how many times it's been requested. Probably like 500. You all in the comments asked me to do a how I edit my videos. I'm going to be editing one of my vlogs. And if you guys like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It'll be somewhere around the screen. So I really like having this pumpkin in the background. I feel like it's so fall because in Texas, it's starting to like get a little colder because we've had so much rain. Like, anyways, let's get on with the video. The first thing I do in my editing process is obviously open my computer and upload my vlog camera to get all the footage that I filmed for my vlog onto my computer so I can start editing. To start importing, I click that little arrow that you just saw and the footage usually takes a while to actually download. That's why it has like the question marks on it. And once it's finally downloaded, all I have to do is press import to and create a new project and give it a name. I'm gonna call it my big sponsorship. Once you're done importing, close out that page and go to projects and create a new project. Now all the footage of my vlog is in like a little section, which is what you can see right there. And I'm gonna get the mouse. I'm gonna click on the first thing and like highlight it, then hold shift and click the very bottom clip. And then you add all of those down. See the like bar with all the footage? That's where you can start your editing. So I want to take out all the ums, the likes, the big pauses, all that. By doing that, I press Command B and it'll split a clip in half and then you can delete whatever you don't want. So my vlog won't be really long and boring. There's a little line with five big notches and I just move it up like two or three and that'll make all the clips that are like one second really long or a long clip make it even longer and that way I can spot where the ums are so this makes it so much easier and then I move it back to normal size. After editing on my desk for a while, I like to sit in my bed because it's way more comfortable. For every vlog, I make a cute little intro. So basically, I just go throughout the vlog and pick out mini clips and copy them, then paste them at the very beginning. And then it makes, I guess, a little beginning so people can be like, oh, this is what I'm gonna see later on in the vlog. And to go with the intro, I go onto pickmonkey.com, which is a free editing app. And it is just so, so good, so cool. You guys really need to use it for thumbnails or anything. And I'm gonna make a little sign that says Annie's Vlogs, so it's gonna look really cute, and I want transparent background. I'm going to overlay this geometric, and then I'm using these square blocks. I use these blocks a lot for my Annie Rose thumbnails, and if you want, I can make a separate video on how I make my thumbnails. Comment down below. For my vlogs, I can turn them whatever color I want after shaping them, making sure they look good, and I liked, I wanted to do one pink and one blue. So they, these blocks can either have like a picture frame or an outline around it if you guys want, like that's optional. I wanted to turn mine white, did that white, and now I'm going to fonts, and I'm using Chelsea Market, which is what I use for like everything, but there are so many different options, but Chelsea Market to me is just my favorite, it's super bubbly, it's super cute. I'm gonna type in Annie's Vlogs, and there is an option to turn it pink or whatever, but I thought since the background, like the, the blocks are colored, I'll just have the words plain black, and I think the white, you wouldn't be able to see it since the pink and the blue are so bright. So I'm doing Annie's Vlogs, and I I think this is gonna look so cute. It's just gonna go where my intro is, and then it'll say Annie's Vlogs, and I just, I really like this idea. So just press save. I'm gonna save it to my Annie's Vlogs folder because it's for Annie's Vlogs. And then I go back onto iMovie, and then I go to my folders, and I add Annie's Vlogs to where my intro is, and if, this is very important, if you don't want your little icon that I just made, or you just made, if you don't want it to like zoom in and get really big, then go on to Fit. It's right now on Ken Burns, which will make it zoom in. Go on to Fit, and then go on to Cutaway, Picture in a Picture, and then it'll be like your picture that you made in a picture and then move it around wherever you want it to be. I tried to get it to not block my face. Okay, my intro is almost done and now I'm doing the shift thing and I am going to 
select my whole intro so then I can saturate it all at once because it would take forever if I had to saturate it one by one. And I'm going up to the colors and you can make it brighter and you can make it more saturated. The last thing I do is add music that I've downloaded from SoundCloud for free. It's so cool. If you guys want the same music, you should go down to the link and we can have the same music in our videos. That would be so cool. And it's free from SoundCloud. It's so, so awesome. And it's really good music. I have to add that to my vlog. Once I've added music, my vlog is pretty much done. That's what my intro looked like when it was done and I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Remember to subscribe, it'll be somewhere around the screen. But you guys really should because I work so hard on my videos. And remember, if you guys want to see a how I edit my thumbnails, please comment down below yes or no because yeah, I need to know if you guys want to see it or not because I'm thinking about videoing it. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!